Hey guys, it's Dr. Becky. I wanted to answer a couple of your questions that I got um, on a video because it's a lot easier than typing out a bunch of stuff. So the first question was from Lorna and you asked, um, a, you wanted to know more about T4 and T3. And I'm not sure exactly how much you needed to know about that. I think you're referring to medication, but I want to just explain a little bit what that is. So, you know, T4 and T3 are your thyroid hormones and about 20% of T3 is made from the thyroid and then the rest is made from T4. So T4 is the inactive form of thyroid hormone and it needs to be converted into T3 to be used in the body. And so you're going to see, um, different um, medications, some are T4 only, some are T3 only, and some are T4 and T3. And what happens is the conversion of T4 to T3 happens in the liver and it ends in you know, the liver, the kidneys, and also in the gut. So you're gonna see people sometimes who have issues with that conversion. And what, what happens most of the time is that doctors aren't really thinking, well, why isn't, you know, why isn't she converting T4 to T3? Um, let's figure that part out and get that, you know, system working in the body. They're just saying, okay, we'll take this medication then. So I want to teach you guys about understanding, you know, why things go wrong with the thyroid and why things go wrong in the body in general. So when, like I said, when T4 is not converting to T3, and the way that you'll know that is if your T3 is low. There's T3 total, there's T3 um, free, and there's also reverse T3, which is kind of when T3 is going the wrong way. So if your T3 is low, what you need to know is you're having an issue with convergence. You're having an issue converting that T4 inactive thyroid hormone to the active form T3. And so the places that you want to look if that happens is you want to look in the liver and you want to look um, it, it, at the gut. So I see this all the time. People will come in and they have, you know, their, their liver is just not pushing toxins out properly. And mo it's, it's most of us. I mean, think about all the, the toxins that are, you know, our liver is responsible for filtering toxins out. So think about even just what we're breathing. You know, we're breathing such, such toxic air in. Um, but then there's other toxins, there's heavy metals in the body, there's, you know, mold, there's a lot of things that we're exposed to and the medications that we take are actually hard in the liver. So if we're having an issue there, we're going to have an issue getting that T4 to be converted to the active T3, which is not good because we want to have the T3 and that's how we're going to get that, the thyroid hormone to the cells like we need it. So the first place I always you know, look with my patients. And the first thing I do with everybody is I do a, a liver detox. Um, and so many people feel so much better after that. And a lot of you are doing my liver detox, the optimal reset cleanse. And, you know, it's, it's amazing. I love it. I do it every day. Most of my patients who start it, they stay on it every day and it just helps to your liver to, you know, support the liver to keep pushing those toxins out and get that T4 converting to T3 the way we want. And, the second place I look is the gut and you know, so many people have gut infections. And for those of you who don't know what a gut infection is, it's where you have an overgrowth of bad bacteria or yeast, or you can have parasites that's in the large intestine. And then in the small intestine, you can have something called SIBO, which stands for small intestine bacteria overgrowth. So when you have any of those issues, you know, usually those lead to leaky gut which is where the lining of your gut has little holes that become kind of big holes like this, and they allow um, food to be released into the bloodstream in large particles, which then causes an autoimmune reaction. Your body's kind of tagging everything as an enemy, and that's how people get these autoimmune diseases. So this is one, another thing that I check for is um, any type of gut infections. And if you have those, we treat them and, and then you can start to convert that T4 to T3 better. So those are the two areas I highly recommend that you look. And as far as medication goes, um, it, it really depends. Everybody needs different medications. So if you're not converting T4 to T3 and your T3 is low, then yes, you would wanna be in a T4 and a T3 um, medication like Nature Throid, um, WP thyroid, one of those, those are the really good ones because they have the smallest amount of any type of filler in it. So, but you still would want to find out the, the reason why your T3 is low while you're supplementing. 
And um, if you are put on something like Synthroid and you're not converting T4 to T3, Synthroid is strictly T4. So it's not going to work very well either. So I, I really recommend you get a very thorough thyroid panel so you can see what everything is doing. You get some, some testing on your gut. Um, and if you can't afford to do that, you just, you know, try supporting your gut with healthy foods, you know, fermented foods, um, probiotics, prebiotics, that type of thing. But those won't kill an infection, just, just so you know, but they will support the gut. So that and then liver support. Those are my, um, that's kind of my spiel on the T4 to T3 conversion and what type of medication and, and what you need to do to figure that out. And then, um... Let me see. I know I had a picture from Pamela. You posted a picture um, of the, the issue you're having on your skin. So, um, okay, this is, it's, it's actually very similar to what I was just talking about. You can see how important the gut and the liver are in the body because they control so many different things. If your liver is not filtering out toxins properly, it's gonna use, your body's gonna use your skin to do that. So you're gonna start to see things like what you have going on here, um, acne, rashes, you know, eczema, that type of stuff, because your body is pushing those toxins through the skin before it's been really filtered through the liver, and that's causing a you know, big inflammatory response. So um, that that's one cause. And then the gut is, a, is another cause also because there's a huge gut and skin um, relationship. So if your gut isn't healthy, a lot of times your skin's not going to be healthy. And um, the gut really, it's, it's amazing how much it controls in our body. So those are the two places I would look for there. You can do topical stuff. But remember, when you're doing topical, something topical, you're, you're most likely not treating the underlying cause. But what I would recommend for now, while you're um, trying to, to get your gut healthier and your liver functioning better, is there's a few different things. Coconut oil is great because coconut oil has antibacterial, antifungal um, proper, properties. And so that can actually, if that's caused by one of those issues, it can actually kill it. Um, and then you can do, there's different essential oils that are great. Frankincense is a great, great essential oil that you can mix with the coconut oil um, for any type of skin issues. Manuka honey is really, really good for skin issues. And then colloidal silver, they actually make like a gel. And this is really good if it's bacterial or, um, you know, fungal related, just like coconut oil. You can put that right on there and you can get that on Amazon, um, colloidal silver, there's all, all different brands. But so I would try those things and definitely, again, try supporting your liver with either a liver supplement or doing like Epsom salt baths is great for supporting the liver. Um, castor oil packs right on the liver is great. Those are really gentle ways to detox the liver. So I would try those things. And hopefully you'll get some relief with that and um, let me know how it goes. So I hope you guys have learned from this video. Please let me know what topics you want to hear. I love talking to you guys. This is why I formed this group. I want us to um, form a relationship where, you know, I can help you guys the best that I can and just let me know what you want to talk about. Okay. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk again soon.